Good morning, people. 9.22 a.m., 11.29.2017. Happy Wednesday. Of course, me in there watching ID again. And I came up with this brilliant idea. Ha ha. How about what welding looks like? Okay. For one thing, willing is not stopping that divorce decree modification from going through or becoming finalized in 93 so that my son, my husband's daughter, I mean, <laughs> so my husband's daughter had this in her power and her permanent address was going to become our address with her dad as her primary caregiver only after it was discussed with her mother and I guess the group because they did everything kind of on a togetherness thing after her six weeks of trial living there they are on a trial basis only. Okay. Not going to make any decisions about anything until after she gets back. Now I lost it totally. There we go. Nothing was going to be decided upon until after that. All right, she said those rapes started day one. Okay. With my heart patient husband on his medicine and his inhaler. Well, his inhaler might not have come along until 94 when he had to go to the VA for the 10 days for his heart. All right. Willingly. She said they started day one. She had six weeks, but she could contact. There was nothing keeping her from writing letters or contacting her mother or other family. And her brother was there, the older one. Nothing keeping her. Well, I'm not sure how quickly my mom asked if, uh, or asked her if she would like to go to church with them, or asked both the kids actually, or Veronica, find out if the kids want us to pick them up for church. We'll do that, and then after after uh, the service, we'll go out to eat. Well, of course they wanted to, you know, get out of the house thing. Go do that. I've got no problem with that. John had no problem with that. He even gave money so that they could pay for stuff if it wasn't a potluck. I know at least one or two times it was a potluck. All right, I'm, I'm writing a note down right now because I thought of another thing I didn't touch on. And I can't write and talk at the same time. Okay, so that's the first one where it appears that she was willing. Okay? Because there's a willing and there's a non-willing, right? Or an unwilling. More like unwilling. All right? And I've even written that here. The trial basis only for six weeks. All right? When she was to return to the commune in Iowa for discussion about whether or not the modification would make her new address at our house and her primary caregiver would become her dad. It was allowed to go through. She did nothing to halt or stop that modification, even though, you see that next sentence, 
even though it was in her power to do so. The choice was hers. You know, I did forget that this morning, too, that she had written saying she loved and missed us and was learning Spanish. Her mom had gotten a hold of a, a Spanish uh, textbook of some sort, grammar probably, maybe, okay, and was teaching her. So, well, that was the first instance. Willing went to all these places with my mom and dad. Okay. Went hanging I mentioned church 15 times in this thing. Okay. All right. Church, Sunday school. That's about my son. Or to church or dinner. Yeah, this part here. All the places my mom took her that she could have brought this all up. I tell you, by the way. You know, they're pulled over at the Dairy Queen or something getting. <coughs> or a mom and pa ice cream place along the road, you know. Those are just as good. Sometimes better, and I know a lot cheaper, but hey, by the way, I'm getting raped two or three times a day by my dad. thought I'd tell you while we're far away from the house, <coughs> so he can't uh he can't interfere or he can't upset my apple cart while I'm trying to tell you or. He can't cut me off, or he can't give me a look. He can't stifle me somehow. You know? Alright? Willingly, there are no reports on my spouse. Willingly. It's interesting to me whether it's inter interesting to you or not. And I'm already half the way through my 15 minutes, but... All right, especially while her big brother's there with a Catholic church across the street, okay, Caddy Cornered. There's another willingly. She willingly did not seek out anyone to try to help her. You know, you have a legal ob obligation in this country to yourself to report crime because while this supposed person is or isn't committing a crime to you against you at the same time while it's not you it could be someone else so you're legally obligated to report that's your obligation not only to yourself which should come easily if it's real then it's for someone else's sake Okay, willingly because she didn't even try. This close to the Catholic Church, this close to the senior center, this close to the post office. Two neighbors she knew well. One was an old lady who talked your ear off. And the other one was the kid whose mom was the uh, dispatcher for the police department. All right. Oh, and, the, and two blocks from the sheriff's department right here. All while unfettered, you know, untied. Nothing was chaining her. She was in no way prohibited from reporting the alleged crime. He was not on full guard of her, you know, guard pull. Like, no, I don't think you'll go there. You might talk too much. You might spill the beans on what we got going here. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't that. He let her go to these places and let her allow let her allowed her to be at home with the three working telephones, basement, ground floor, and upstairs. So willingly she didn't use the phone to try to 
get anyone over there. Like when I picked up the phone call on her, that she wasn't going to walk all over me and give my good things away that I loaned her just because somebody said give it to her. That was the big thing that day. Okay, of course, told her don't open the door up for strangers. And I'm probably pretty sure by then we had realized that she was a few sh animal cookies short of a box that uh, if it's the cops or or my mother or, you know, she's got Bradley or the, Mrs. Cook or, you know, Sure, open the door to them. But these other people, you do not know their name. You do not know they're the cops or the firemen or something. Don't open the door to you. See, we had to really extend and extend. I guess that's that may be why my stuff looks so, is so long. I got in that mode of extending to her. Extend these explanations. Ex expand on them all right so she was uh willing also in the way that she had access in the knives and scissors and tools and opportunities to use them for self-defense but did not use them did not hide them for self-defense and i know she could chop wood because we talked about her chopping wood whether she used it properly or not you know, I have no idea about that part. I do know that she went on about chopping the wood. So it's not that she was a stranger to a blade uh, or what an axe could do, okay? So this little crazy thing just totally spiraled out of control. All right, so willing that past all that, cut into the chase because I'm running out of time. Um, at exit therapy, you know, we took her there, waited for her outside, except for that initial one where we were asked to be in there, so we would gain an idea of what was going on, and um, then we just waited out in the van. I'd smoke my cigarettes, he'd read his paper, everything was fine. But the one that puts the cherry on top is when she went back willingly into that house after she made her report with Denise and Marie, or Maria, out of town, willingly. Got back on the bus, rode it home to the bus stop just a half a block up from our house. Or no, a third of the a block up from our house. Could see that his van, our van was there and he did the, he was the primary, he was the driver of the family. I didn't have my license at that point. So knew he was going to be there if that van was there willingly walked up those steps, willingly put her hand on that screen door handle, willingly opened it up to the next door and put her hand on that inner door knob, willingly turned that door knob and walked into that house, willingly. Hey, I'm home. Dad, I got to talk to you willingly segregated her dad and her from me while we were from when we were in there at the dining table after mrs cook had just left to take him aside to tell him in private and then they brought the story to me while i was still sitting there so this whole thing was based on her willingness you know to allow crimes, as she calls them, to be committed to herself. But I'm just going by the story. The story shows that she was willing for all that to go like it did. 
Thanks for watching.